I'm Paul Bloom. I'm a professor of psychology and cognitive science at Yale University, and I'm very interested in morality. I'm very interested in the nature of good and evil, in where our moral obligations come from, and our moral emotions like empathy or gratitude or righteous anger. For the last 10 years or so, I've been studying babies. I've been doing this in collaboration with my wife and my colleague, Karen Wynn, at her infant lab. And we've been looking at these very young babies and, and asking them questions to explore what they think is good and bad. And one way we do this is we show them little plays. We have some guy trying to do something and a good guy helping him and a bad guy hindering him or harming him. And we find that even the youngest babies you can test show an adult, mature, moral understanding that they can tell right from wrong, good from bad. Um, but we also find some serious limitations. The, our, our innate morality is limited, tragically so, in that uh, babies automatically break the world up into us versus them, and they care deeply about their own group and not very much about the out group. So in the research I'm planning to pursue, we're looking at the nature of the moral foundation, asking questions like, when do babies appreciate the, the immorality of lying and deception? When do babies come to know that not doing something can be wrong, that, that, that standing back and not helping can be a bad thing? And most of all, how the moral circle expands, how we come to understand that somebody in a faraway land has just as much moral value, their life matters just as much as somebody uh, who we love and cherish in our own lives. Now, I think this work is of tremendous intellectual interest. I've never met anybody who wasn't interested in our morality and how it develops. But I also think it has practical benefits. If you want to make the world a better place, if you want to have a more compassionate and more just society, you will benefit hugely from understanding how morality works, its weaknesses and its strengths.